What up, Dokkan Hunters? Welcome back to Toonrami for another video on Dragon Ball Z! Dokkan Battle. I just burped. Or something, right as I started that. Anyway, this video is going to be covering more stuff regarding the data download that happened both on Global and on JP. I'm not going to be covering every single detail because I also want to do a reaction. Basically what I do whenever a campaign starts, I basically live read the campaign news and then go over what's happening then. So whatever I miss now will most likely be covered on the coming up campaign news video when that drops at refresh. Right now it's three in the morning in California. Wanted to talk about one more thing, so I'm making one more video. Check out my last one regarding the Kale and Khalifa EZAs that are gonna be dropping as well as other Universal Rebel Saga Peppy Gals. Kukunsa, Rosie, Ribrian. So check those out. And now we're gonna be talking about this. So, number one, the according to the data download or the DBZ space, it's saying that 6 p.m. Pacific, we're gonna be getting the summoning for the Gohan LR. So um, that, uh, apparently, according to Hydros and Truth, um, I don't want to put words in people's mouths, but apparently it is speculated that that's not exactly going to be the right time, but it also could be. So, as far as my plans for streams and whatnot, I'm still not sure it's kind of up in the air. Honestly, it's going to depend on refresh when we get the campaign news itself, what exactly is going to happen. So, I will be dropping one more video later on today going over the news, and at that point, I'll be able to make a decision about what my stream plans are going to be. But be on the lookout, folks. So stay tuned, follow people on Twitter, uh, check out YouTube channel, videos, and all that stuff for not only myself, but everyone else. And hopefully, we can get to the bottom of this as soon as possible. But as of right now, I'm just going to assume that it's happening at 6 o'clock Pacific, which is far earlier than usual. But since this is a joint celebration, sometimes things like this happen. So that's number one. Now, what I wanted to do was go over this unit. There's a couple things you might want to know about this unit, as well as two other units. So this is happening on JP. They're getting the EZAs for two more hero extermination units. Obviously, this doesn't pertain to global right now, but I still want to talk about this stuff because, as you guys know, I'm a big proponent of planning ahead. Doe hunting responsibly means sometimes if you're able to see what's going on ahead of time, you can prepare. And since this banner that Gohan's going to be featured on is most likely going to be a double rates one, you are probably going to be getting a lot of random SSRs that you may not necessarily want, including some of these, and they might be useful for you. So, I want to go over each unit, how you can special attack farm them. Did I say special attack? Super attack farm them. So let's begin. So number one, we'll talk about the Kaioken Goku. Obviously, this is the Hero Extermination event, easy area. You've seen this many times. They've got, they've had what, five sets on Global now? Four? Four. They've had four sets on Global. The fifth one is not going to be dropping on JP. Featuring the two new EZAs, the Int Super Saiyan Gohan and the AGL Kaioken Goku. And also for JP, their update um, requirement roster list is now in place. They have to have the TURs for the two free-to-play Whis and Hachiax, respectively. We don't have to deal with that on Global just yet, but when that time comes, we will need it. So, Global players, make sure you work on farming these guys out. I know it's kind of annoying, um, but if you have time, get it done. Also, if you don't want to do it, there might be an update or a revamp to the odds of the medals dropping or something later on down the road. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, that, that's the situation for the Hero Extermination of EZA. Now, for the actual units. So the Kaioken Goku is getting a massive upgrade because before he was just greatly raising attack and then he had a static boost. This was a static boost. Pretty lousy. With the EZA, he becomes an all-types key plus 360% across the board lead. Greatly raises attack, then raises defense. I don't think we've ever seen this before. So there's a lot of firsts in this video that you're going to see. And I like this. Even in my last video, there were there were a couple mechanics that I hadn't yet seen before, and I was very excited to see that because that, for me, is what helps increase the value of not only those units, but the game in general. If every unit had the same blueprint, followed the same exact archetype, it would get very stale. But when there's small little variations like this, it adds more intrigue to the actual fighting dynamic. If there are certain things like, oh, if I can bring down three orbs so that this unit can gain this ability with three orbs, that's something to keep note of. So this is a good step for Dokkan. So as you're going to see, there's going to be a couple new mechanics that we haven't yet seen. Obviously, this one is one of them. I don't think we've seen this before, where a unit can simultaneously doubly raise attack while singularly raising defense. I don't know if that was, that's grammatically correct, but you know what I mean. He boosts his attack by two. He boosts his defense by one. Cause supreme damage. Obviously, this guy screams long form events, right? Legendary Goku event, infinite Dragon Ball history, you name it. These types of events, this guy lives for it, and he's going to be very good. Attack and defense plus 70%, plus an additional attack plus 50 when performing a super attack with three or more AGL key spheres obtained. All right, so there you go. So with three or more AGL key spheres, he will get an extra 50. 
So that's just going to further enhance the growth rate of his attack boosting. Performs a critical hit with five or more addition. Wow. Okay. So you run this guy on a mono AGL. Uh, you're probably going to get some decent orb changing abilities. And when you do, you're going to do some crazy damage. This guy screams additional. If you go max additional and then you have one orb changing setup here. Or just, you know, you get lucky and you get five AGL orbs. This guy's going to do some pretty crazy damage over time. Obviously, it's going to be a slow burn at first because he's starting off with a 70%, but this is an ancient unit, and this is pretty good. This is a pretty good build for an ancient unit, and I'm looking forward to this. I have this guy rainbow ready. Not going to rainbow him just yet, but I have him rainbow ready. So now, the question is, can you boost this guy's super attack? Because you're probably going to want to use this guy, and the answer is yes, you can, and you can do it for free. And the great thing about right now on Global is that we are currently having the LR Prime Battle Goku campaign going on. And for that campaign, you have to be maxing out the Lord Slug EZA, and that takes place on this story event. This story event also gives you that Kaioken Goku. So if you want to boost this guy's super attack for free, just jump into the Lord Slug event, farm out the Goku, you can do so with the Mechians. I had a really easy time doing that myself, and uh, piece of cake. So definitely get that done. It will help you in more ways than one, trust me. So there's your first batch of Dokoning responsibly advice. Now, moving on to the Super Saiyan Gohan. The Super Saiyan Gohan sadly does not have a free option for super attack boosting. As you can see here in the disambiguation, Super Saiyan Gohan Teen, there really just isn't anything. But what you can do is if you potentially pick up some AGL ones, some SRs, some or STR SRs, physical SRs, you could use those guys. I wouldn't recommend using your world tournament drops unless of course you have them rainbowed. Um, otherwise, you know, go ahead. But there's not that many options, so it's going to be a little tougher. But the reason why I brought up the whole summoning thing was because if you're going to be going in on that potential LR banner, double rates banner, whatever for the Gohan, you're probably going to come across some random units that are just not worth it to you, right? Well, now you can be on the lookout. If it happens to be this Kaioken Goku that looks like this, maybe don't throw it away. If you come across the Gohan that looks like this, maybe don't throw it away so that you can actually work on boosting this guy's super attack, if you have him rainbowed, of course. If you don't, well, now is the chance you have to get those dupes in there, because this guy now actually has a decent build. So his original stat line was just garbage. I'm not even going to read it. You can see it. But now when he gets his EZA, attack and defense, or HP attack and defense, 60%, all types key plus 3. Raises defense for one turn, causes supreme damage. Attack plus 120, defense plus 60, pretty solid, when performing a super attack, plus an additional attack and defense plus 30, Medium chance of performing a critical hit and medium chance of evading enemies attack including super attack for the rest of the battle after performing three super attacks I don't think we've ever seen this before ever in the history of Dokkan. I don't think we've ever seen this before. So after three super attacks He gains a built-in evasion stat line and this is on top of his base five that he's gonna have just being an int unit That is unprecedented never seen that before so that is really cool, and also medium chance to perform critical hits. So once again, this unit screams additional. You can raise his defense by two, up to two times, if you have max additional. And then if all goes well, you could tank some hits, and then once you perform three super attacks, maybe you don't have to tank those hits, maybe you can still end up dodging. So this is a pretty cool new trait that they've implemented into the game. I look forward to using this guy. This So this guy is interesting to me. He's an old unit, yeah, and he's kind of got, you know, mediocre stats, sure, but this mechanic makes me want to use him. This really makes me want to use him. I'm honestly really excited for... I don't think I've ever been more excited for two Hero Extermination Event units than these two. Because I'm trying to go think, like, what were the other ones that were, for me, interesting? Uh, Gohan is an attack stacker, I believe. Piccolo is an all-around guy. The Goku is baseline. The Vegeta is pretty good too. He raises defense indefinitely. I think Trunks raises attack indefinitely. I did like this guy. This guy was a pretty decent unit because he was an immense damager and uh, he provided some nice support and he was a good temporary sacker. So I did like this one. But honestly, these two new units have me the most excited. I really like them. Obviously, Global's not going to get it anytime soon, but I will be able to start preparing. I do have both units at SA10. I have an SA3 or SA4 Gohan dupe ready to go, but I don't have anything for the AGL Kaioken. So, if I happen to pull any, I will start to stockpile and save up, and uh, I will be ready. So that is it for the two Easy A units, the Easy Area units. I look forward to this. JP players will be able to, you know, get a crack at these guys coming up in a couple of days. When is it dropping on JP? Uh, in a week. No, in a day, less than a day, and then in a week for the Kaioken Goku. So, lucky JP. I'm actually kind of jealous of that one. 
Now let's move on to the obvious, you know, head honcho unit that everyone's talking about. The Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. Everybody cares about this guy because, you know, he's the big new shiny LR. And he is going to be something else. Now, one thing to take note of, he is not going to be an SSR, or SSR. He's not going to be a Super Saiyan 2 across the board. He's going to start off as an SSR, Super Saiyan Gohan. His TUR will be Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, and then his LR will be the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan as well. So, if you're thinking you, well, not you, if you're a whale, which is like five of you, real, real whales, and you want to go for more than just the LR, you want to go for the TUR, well, unfortunately, the TUR will not be one that you can run alongside your LR, because he's also Super Saiyan 2. But, if you really want to, you can go for the, you can go for the base SSR version. I mean, I, I guess, I'm sure people will still do that. So, why do I bring this up? Well, I bring this up because he can actually have his super attack farmed for free. We haven't had that in uh, quite a while. So it's nice to see that Gohan's LR can indeed be farmed at the SSR level. So this is the LR, obviously. It's already showing in the Dokkan Wiki. Sadly, the Super Saiyan version is not popping up. Let's see if I refresh it, if it'll show up here. Oh, there, oh, it's here, okay. So this one, this guy is the SSR version. So if you wanna work on him, feel free. And uh, you can farm his super attack with this guy. So this unit right here, the SR Super Saiyan Gohan, is also going to be making a return from his story event called the Galactic Super Guy... I, I hate... I don't understand this title at all. I'm guessing it's some Japanese translation. Galactic Super Guy in the Galaxy. It, it's stupid. But this guy used to actually start off as an R unit. They've since discontinued the R level, and now he starts off at a baseline SR. And he ultimately, Dokkan awakens into the SSR Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, who is literally built to fight Bojack. So this guy right here, I, I did a video on this before, his passive is a paragraph, sure, and it's just all about like, talking about the most specific and unlikely scenario in the context of Dokkan. But when, when you look at the unit, it makes sense. Like he's built to fight Bojack. So he's fighting movie bosses, he's fighting time travelers, he's fighting a bunch of them. That's literally the Heraclan. So it makes sense. But in the context of Dokkan, it's pretty limiting and it's pretty terrible. But we don't care about that because we only care about the SSR form, or the SR form, I should say. So if you farm out this guy, you can boost the super attack of your LR Super Saiyan 2 Gohan for free. And that's always good, especially for LRs, right? Because usually you're burning those, those Kais for the LRs. And with the holidays being, you know, this time of year, you're probably going to be summoning for a lot of banners. You might be getting a lot of units. And if you just want to get them all up to speed, you're probably going to want to be spending those Kais on those units. So any chance you can get to boost someone for free, I recommend you do it. Because the blue fusions are not free summons. Or they're... No, actually, that's not true. The, uh, no, they both are. The Vegito, however, is not free. The Gogeta is, the Vegito is not. Anyway, uh, any chance you get to boost an LR for free, I think you should take it. So, this guy, let me actually see, what are the drop rates? Uh, they get boosted with Hybrid Saiyans. Oh, perfect. So, if you boost the drop rate with Hybrid Saiyans, you could run full LRs. It's very easy to get a bunch of dupes. Not only for this SR unit, but also for the medals, because according to... I, I, I lost the screenshot, but the LR is going to require a bunch of these Super Guy medals to awaken. Let me actually see if we can check it out in the Dokkan Wiki. Uh, Dokkan Wiki... If we jump to... Oh, it's not here. Wait, it should be here. Okay, so if we start at the SSR... The SSR uses... Oh yeah, here we go. So the Super Guy medals, you get 55555. Five, 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 five. Then when he gets to the TUR... I really like this art, and I think Havahai and I both share the same sentiment. I kind of like this one more than the LR. I think the LR is amazing, don't get me wrong. I don't know, just this one is visually very satisfying to look at. Just looks really, really cool. Um, and then this one uses 35 of the Bojack, 35 of the Gohan medals from the Dokkan event, Transcendent Awakening. So yeah, you're gonna be you're gonna be seeing a lot of this Dokkan event anyway. So while you're there, you might as well you might as well get it done and farm out the Gohan too, because if you can save nine Kai's, it's gonna help you out in the long run. Trust me, it's gonna be very useful. By the way, events are coming back. So in the spirit of talking about events returning, I think you guys are gonna be very surprised and happy when you learn that the Super Android 13 story event is coming back, which means. All of you folks who picked up a copy of the Spirit Bomb Absorbed Goku, you can finally, finally, finally get him done. Congratulations, you guys. You did it. <laughs> He's finally... You can finally achieve it. Thanks to this event, it's finally back. 
And I think with this event coming back now, that puts it in the chain of memories, right? Chain of memories, oh my god. I'm a Kingdom Hearts player, folks. Uh, Portal of Memories. I think now that this is coming back for the first time, that puts it in the Portal of Memories. I'm not sure, I forget if it's one return or two returns where it goes in the Portal of Memories. Either way, never do this to yourself again, where you just have to wait. Farm everything out. Farm out the Android 1415. Once you're done with that, farm out the metals. Once you're done with that, look and see if there's anything else that need the metals. Go farm them out before they leave. You don't ever want to be in that situation again. This event came out in April of 2020 <laughs> for Global. It is now December 15th, 14th, and dude, that is ridiculous. Don't do that to yourself again. Make sure you farm out all the metals you possibly can. I'll tell you right now what you need for the LR Goku. You are going to need 35 of the Android 13 for the Dokkan event, 7 of the Android 13s, 7 of the Android 14s, 7 of the Android 15s. Do you actually need anything at the base level? At the base level, you don't. Okay. So you just need 777. 777. And the drop rate for this one is boosted with Super Saiyan. So easy LR. A uh, bunch of LR units you can use. So yeah, get 7 of this, 7 of that, 7 of that. You'll be done. <laughs> uh, oh, and a couple other things. Um, since the data, the, the, ugh, the data download happened, we also got a couple assets for future banners and whatnot. So shout out to Dokkan Assets, also Hydros for the information. Uh, they loaded in a couple assets for the Super Saiyan 4 Gogetas. Don't freak out about this. This means nothing. This is just, you know, for stuff later on down the road. But they are starting to plant the seeds for those things. So uh, that is your news update on the data downloads. Didn't cover everything. I think there's like some, some blue stones and some new currency whatnot that happens at login. Like I said... When I do my news reaction video at refresh, when the campaign actually starts, I will go over whatever is there, and that will also let me know exactly what I want to do for my stream. So, right now I can tell you that I'm most likely going to be doing a stream anyway. Whether or not I decide to summon is unclear. I'm probably actually going to summon two, but I will definitely be doing a stream to farm out the Peppy Gals, Universe Rebel Saga Peppy Gal, Easy A, SA5 dupes. So if you guys want to catch me during that, make sure to subscribe. Have your notification bells turned to all. And yeah, as far as the details, how long the stream is going to go and all that, stay tuned for the next video. That should be the one that lets you know what is going on. But that is going to be it for this news update. Global players, Dokkan players, you can relax. We're back. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like down below. Let me know in the comments, what are you most excited for? The Gohan dropping, the KFC dropping, the KFC Easy, I should say. The... <laughs> Android 13 story event coming back. What what are you guys thinking about right now? What is the number one thing that you're going to be doing as soon as this new campaign starts? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Also, be sure to subscribe for more dope content in the future. And click the notification bell so that you let YouTube know you want to see more of my stuff. Do it! Thanks again. Stay tuned. And always remember to Dokkan responsibly.